hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. Brewer Hog finally wants to talk with us. And he's very excited. He's very grateful that we did everything on his land that made him look um pathetic, basically. I managed to do everything that he's supposed to be doing, kinda. Uh welcome to the lands of uh Clan Vidmar. You share a tail, we share the ale. Hoo ha! Great. Uh, yeah. And he's probably gonna gonna offer me the crown. On the spot. So... Something to look forward to, I, I suppose. Um... Yeah. I mean, oh, this is where we have to meet, meet with Groover. Can't see anything. But this is my favorite area so far. Oh, can we go there? Oh, this is how we get there? Oh, okay. I need key for that. Frozen. Oh. Only the banner moves. Blown by the wind. Downright poetic. Prime material for a ballad. Perhaps even a whole saga. Gazing towards the horizon, Meave noticed a dark shape outlined against the mantle of snow that lay on the ground. It proved a tower toppled and broken in pieces. Around it lay the ruins of other buildings, blocks hewn out of basalt rock protruding from the permafrost. That'd be the Clan Vidmar ruins, said Gabor, hollering over the wind. Rich ones, had the clan seat here till earth tremors turned all into dust. Hundreds of dwarves lived here once, and now, not a living soul. What the hell, dwarves? This is not normal. Like having some deadly caves and like deadly mine shafts and abandoned cities you guys think this is normal it's not uh, help save me on the contrary there was someone midst the ruins and said someone was clearly in trouble meave ordered her men to find the unfortunate soul they returned moments later leading a dwarf whose teeth chattered they had found him in a ruined building where he'd sought shelter from ghouls Judging by his appearance, the dwarf had spent the better part of a week there. I was just about to suggest that we're gonna let, uh, leave him to die, because he sounds too annoying. Marco Vidmar, they call me, he said, patting down unkempt hair that seemed to reach in all directions. I came here seeking a family heirloom, lost in the tremors and the chaos they caused. I ken the chamber where it ought to be, but, well, beasts made their lair there. I cannot drive them off on my own. Bold warriors like you ought to cut them down in a jiffy. So, will you help? Yeah, he's okay. Just his initial scream was a little annoying. Uh, so you just want me to do... Uh, what? Just some chamber? We kill some beasties? Uh, we can check it out. I too have lost my home, estate, said the queen. So I understand well what you feel. I shall help you recover your heirloom. Call it a win. Mirko Vidmar's face lit up. Though he'd spent a week besieged and eating stale biscuits, and though there was a hoarfrost in his beard, he quickly trotted to the front of the column and led the Lyrian soldiers to the underground chamber. As promised, beasts awaited there. Well, we are here to <coughs> get a good rap, so I suppose we're gonna help you. And apparently these uh, monsters usually have a lot of gold with them. I don't really get that part, but damn. This is a shortened battle. Javier, I can have this guy a little later. Yeah, maybe. Fine. I guess we're probably gonna win with any hand. The ruins. From there they come. Drive them back. It may be seized. So how the fuck does it work? Any damage. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Any damage. Okay. How 
What's the chance that it gets seized? This harvest will be reaping Seems pretty high. Heads. It may be seized by this card. So far it's 1%. <sighs> Pretty good, maybe. Your heads. <laughs> okay. uh, what if I play this? He's gonna steal it again. And again he literally and steals again. everything. Okay, we got a problem here, Houston. Just spamming Neckers. Yourself, I've wanted to really school. He won't be able to steal my unit, right? Army's a waste of time no. for one like me. It's the first one that didn't get stolen. Didn't get. Well, he didn't steal it, so. God damn it. Brought me. Damage all units on this row by three. Yeah, I would like that. What do we got? Um, sure? Wait, why didn't this come back? Oh, he didn't take damage yet. Think about slings, they hide well. Damn it. He's back. Ah! He used up my older ability as well. What a bastard. Left, right, left, right. Oh, he came back? But, yeah, he took damage. But he also took damage from the fire. Uh, it, was, it was damage, but... I assume that he needs to take health damage, but... Apparently that's not the case. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Again and again and again. The chance that my unit gets stolen is pretty high. Actually, first row is a little annoying. But. Turn start summon a necker. I'd rather not deal with that. So much anger so maybe... and suffering. For what? Uh, I don't want to be able to actually set that on fire. My spirit's willing and how are we gonna kill the necker? In the bag. Doesn't matter. Okay, you just passed, right? What? That looked unhealthy. You can just pass for being. Alright. Let's get a move on before any other right. show up. Pretty This is the throne breaker difficulty. As soon as the fight was done, Mirko Vidmar ran towards a crate that stood on a pedestal, slipping on the now bloody floor. When the dwarf lifted the lid, precious stones spilled out. Your heirloom? This? Asked the queen, rather puzzled. I thought a pipe that belonged to your grandfather more likely. Oh, golden fraud. Seems to me Brother Marco was not wholly candid with us. This here's no heirloom, no family souvenir. It's the treasure trove of Clan Vidmar. We thought it gone for good. Pressed for the truth, Mirko admitted no family sentiment had prompted this expedition. The dwarf had planned to leave Mahakam and start a new life among humans. Yet he did not wish to do so without sizable capital. He kind of led us to it. I can't stand to stay here a moment longer. The days, all of them, they're identical. Rise with the first cockscrow, march in double file to the latrine, crap on command, 12 hours down the shaft and home to sleep. Mirko complained. Want a wifey? Put on an application. In triplicate, care to snip your beard? 
Elders got to approve it. You want to add buttermilk, not cream to your mushroom soup? Clan council's got to debate it. How's a dwarf not to get balmy? I understand the lad. No two ways about it. Gabor sighed. But I feel it's my duty to remind you that what Marco's going and doing here, well, there are laws. Treasure's due the Elder in Chief, not to Marco. That's one. Second, any dwarf that wants to leave Mahakam can't take nothing but his breeches, his dixie, and his coat. So, brief like, consider well afore you make your decision, Your Grace. I see. Well, he can't take the old treasure. Oh, we gotta keep the treasure. Elder in Chief. I don't like these dwarven laws. They're fucked up. I don't think you deserve all the treasure, especially that now required you required our help to do it. I would I wouldn't be against giving you something. I don't see how the elder chief kind of deserves it. I think I'm going to keep the treasure, but that's just money that I don't need. But giving it to Brewer is kind of stupid. Got more cool with Mark, take the treasure and go. Kind of pointless. I gotta think about this. Keep the treasure seems like a good one, but I just don't need right it. Right of state at times requires a monarch to disregard laws, as well as pledges once given. Said Meave, shutting the crate's lid with a loud crack. I need resources to wage war against Nilfgaard. And towards that cause, I will allocate this treasure. Those gathered in the underground hall accepted the Queen's decision in silence. Gabor merely shook his head, while Mirko jostled his way through the Lyrian infantry and into the mountains, towards human lands. Alright. But can I do anything with the money? Because, okay, I got the money. I think that was the sensible choice. And Reynard always... Goes on about, but we should have more money. But I got the money, and it's worthless. There's nothing to spend it on. It would be a little bit more tempting to take the money, even though I feel like that is the right call. If money Illyrians had any value. A winding path along the rocky ridge. To one side were ice-covered boulders. To the other, a chasm hundreds of feet deep. They could have at least erected some barriers, complained Gascon, knocking snow from his cap. Got plans for that, Gabor said. Just need to decide how high to make them. What? Think, should they be the height of your average dwarf or a human? The debate's gone on for 20 years. On the one hand, you've got... Gabor did not finish his discussion. He was interrupted by the Barbagazi that jumped down from the rocks. Archers, shoot! Aim for underbelly! Meave soldiers made quick work of the lone monster. But the sound of battle spooked the horses harnessed to one of her wagons. Whoa there! Whoa! Damn it! The driver tried to rein in the animals, but could not. They dragged him into the chasm along with his cart and the soldiers riding in it. They landed a few dozen feet below on a rocky outcropping. A moment later, Barber Ghazis swarmed everywhere. Did you see how they fared? Anyone left alive? Asked Meave, leaning over the cliff edge. Worry more about their cargo. Gascon replied. They were also carrying chests of gold. Blast. We can't get down there. Too steep and the snow keeps falling. We can lower ourselves down a line. But without armor, shields, or heavy weapons. Otherwise it will snap. And the Barbagazis? The queen said, brow raised. We shan't kill them with daggers. They're too thick of armor. We'll have to try. Or continue on our way. I guess we're gonna attack the poor Begazi. Meave sighed. Gascon, round up some volunteers and let us move out. Moments later, the Queen was lowering herself down a line straight towards the gaping maw of a Barbagazi. Her only armor. A woolen shirt. We can take him out. Optional. Why is that optional? 
That's the entire point. Oh, all my units. I'm weak. A short battle as well. Ah, this seems decent. Careful! No one try to be a hero! Okay. So I need to have a unit on the right. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. On turn start. Wait, what? He passed? How come? Left, right, left, right. To the other row? So I would need to kill the Barbagazis. I suppose. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Can I just move the balanced soldiers? What? Mm. At this point. I guess I'm gonna hit that. I just wanna kill the Barbagazi. What can I get out of the Blitz? I need just... Is it all the units? Again and again and again. My points don't matter. Slippery up here, and it's a bloody long way down. If this unit have not taken damage. Thing about slings, they hide well. Oh, this seems pretty easy. There's a time to rip. So it did a time to take damage, throw. and also now it's going to die. I have the the best deck <laughs> with this. We could kill the Borbagazi. It was like, come on, this kind of sounds too easy. Shield, Meave could not withstand a single blow. She thus danced atop the frozen snow. Oh, I, when the I last get it. monster fell lifeless to the ground. Got Soon it. Enough, all were safely back. Jesus Christ. Okay, narrator, storyteller. We saw what happened. It wasn't that glorious. If the boards want to tell a good story about it, well, I would like to hear that, but... Damn. Uh, I guess we're gonna go back. Does the storyteller sometimes tell you what is going to happen? Again, not show, just tell. But then, you have a fight. Definitely that... That's not what happens. But then the storyteller also tells you after the fight what happened. Actually, again, that's not what happened in the fight. But, again, just kind of a lower thing still. Puzzle. Puzzle Meister. Uh, gets ignored, of course. That's just a regular fight. We have some question mark over here. I'm coming in, guys. Don't worry. Oh. Um. If you open this, the family tomb, it can only mean your father has passed away and now rest in peace beside me. Please do not grieve, for this is the way of life. 
Always has been, always will be. You're the head of the family now. It won't be easy. It won't be an easy undertaking, but fret not. I set aside a sizable sum for this very day. You'll find it where we used to watch the sunset. May your future be long and bright. Oh. Sounds like a dick thing to steal. Neve now witnessed a sorry sight. A mass funeral for miners killed due to a tragic convergence of events. Their lead caskets lay upon the snow, wreaths of hop cones laid upon them in turn. The mourners waited for the diggers to finish. The digging was tough, for the ground was frozen. As the crunch and thud of picks and shovels continued, the dead miners' foreman scrambled onto a boulder to make a speech. Angry shouts and loud booing stopped him. You knew it! You knew they'd smell vapors, but you ordered them to keep digging till it blew up in their faces! Make the daily quota whatever the cost, eh? You blood on your mitts, whore son! A mourner then picked up a chunk of frozen ground and threw it at the foreman. Blood spurted from the gash that appeared on his forehead. The first dirt chunk was followed by another, then by a rock, a brick. Neve realized that if she did not intervene, the foreman stood to be stoned to death. Rock a brick? What would happen? Fire nuke at him. Uh, am I comfortable seeing this guy getting stoned to death? Maybe not. Something had to be done quickly. Neve saw this clearly. She spurred her mount and rode into the cemetery, pushing through the throng, then stopping before the foreman, the horse shielding him from further blows. Calm yourselves! Silence! His guilt cannot be decided here! It must! Before Meave could finish her plea, a large rock thrown from the crowd struck her bosom, nearly knocking her from her saddle. Upon seeing this, her Lyrian escort lowered spears and drew swords and rushed at the angry mourners. Yeah, no, no. Kino! Kren! Isabel what? cried out. Her hands began to radiate a fierce light that blinded both dwarves and Lyrians alike. Have you lost your minds, all of you together? Not had your fill of misfortune yet? Lower your arms at once. Whether the power of Isabel's magic or the force of her appeal had the greater effect is difficult to say for certain. Either way, both sides suddenly lost the desire to fight. Meave breathed a sigh of relief. Aware that if not for Isbel's intervention, a great amount of blood would have been spilled at that cemetery. Get out. And kill the Drake on the way out. I thought we're gonna meet with Brewer this uh Well, soon. But apparently it is is a little bit farther away than I kinda hoped. Alright, what's up, Drake? Uh, standard battle. Sure. So he has zero chance to beat me. Actually, we probably shouldn't move again. What am I doing? Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Ah! This artist will be reaping black Actually, I could have played the drummer. Arm is a waste of time for one like me. Setting them on fire would be nice. Okay. Spirits willing and how the when will you ever learn? I'm super happy about that. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Okay. Yes, Khan is getting stronger. Burn end. So we can't even. Can't even stop it. Oh, 
Oh, that's resilient. We should kill that. Thing about slings, they hide well. Okay. I We're not do. going into already, are we? We killed the resilient guy. Come on. Pass. Boost all units on the row? That's ridiculous. Left, right, left, right. Ah, resilience. Mm, this is pretty big. Again and again and again. And again and again and again and again and again and again. again. Alright. Can't kill the Barbagazi. I he was passing. But what, what a bastard. So you don't need to play a card next turn. Here we are Merlot. So I gotta pass. Uh, yeah. Fire Saddle guy would have been pretty nice. I think he's still gonna be okay next turn. Just pass. He lost the card because of resilience. A little annoying. Ooh, actually. Don't have too many cards left in the deck. Maybe. Okay. So this will work. Uh, Illyrian uh, Saipan would be better. So let's, let's go like that. So we played Illyrian Saipan early. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Maybe we're gonna wait. Get maximum value. Four. Left, right, left, right. Fine by me. So we get out a guy. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? in the back and we can set fire to the back just wait Xavier oh no It's fine. Not exactly fine, but fine. We don't really have a choice here. Uh, let's do rain out of the door. knows what she's doing. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. We can still get out the guy. Bomber. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mom. My pain serves a purpose. I smell a leak. Ah! 
right. Yeah, I don't think he has the chance here. I'll just go Gascon and wait. Nothing personal, move this I one. assure you. Gascon actually turned out to be a very reliable guy. Who would have thought? Thirty-eight points. It's still a good card. We got it kind of early. Just everything by four. Nothing has a chance against me. Well, puzzles are kind of annoying. Fine. Let's go. We need to talk to Bruver. If you already fought the Drake, we're gonna take his stuff. But yeah, let's take a break. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.